Well, here we are. It's time for Chop Back and Synthetic Dawn. Yes, that's damn straight. We're gonna go into a brand new campaign today. Obviously, uh, Garbage is continuing as well as Star Trek, but they're gonna go be on, they're gonna be on a be in a little bit of a hiatus as I want to get started with Synthetic Dawn. As a quick disclaimer here, I did not pay for this copy. I'm not being paid for this copy uh, for this particular version by Paradox. Uh, this is completely. Um, yeah, I was given this uh, this particular copy from uh, from the guys over at PDX, and uh, that is pretty much everything. So you can consider this like to be some sort of weird ass advertisement or something. I don't know. Uh, new game. We're gonna have some fun today. I've already built up a couple of uh, interesting races. Let me quickly disable all of these. Um, the Mechazerk Confluence. Uh, I'm not really not really interested in uh, this particular race when it's current current name state um i need to come up with a cool name for for these guys in terms of what, what should i call them i'm gonna call them tars after the awesome robot from the movie interstellar apparently it was a little bit sarcastic and that sort of thing but yeah tars is what your name is going to be and i'm also going to need to change the name of the empire yes uh, well, the, their planet name is obviously going to be Tars. Tars. There we go. Around the planet, uh, Xenicon. I don't really care about the uh, specifics there. Uh, government and ethics. We are going to play as a Gestalt Consciousness, which is uh, a machine intelligent. Uh, we have the traits Built to Last, which reduces consumer goods cost by... Uh, 20% and constructor bots which uh, reduces the cost of building robots by 15% later on we'll be able to get another civic so yeah that's at least that although I'm quickly taking a look I am kind of interested hmm Obsessed with the survival through diversification, the machine intelligence seeks to erase the line between itself and everything and everybody else. Hmm. Let's assimilate people. I feel I feel like that's a cool thing. Apparently, we cannot be machine if we want to play as one of these guys. That is kind of annoying. Oh wait, these are the cyborg species. Okay, cool. I did not know that. Okay, so we have cyborgs as well, including. So basically, it's like syncretic evolution. Uh, they're gonna be humans. Uh, human. Uh, human. Oh, actually, I have a much, much cooler name. Cymac. Yeah, there's a blast from the past. Cymac. And uh, the adjective is obviously Cymac. Ah, uh, names lists, uh, there's gonna have some uh, autonomous drone names, yeah! And uh, they are cybernetic off the start, so their their likely lifespan is increased, they got a habitability. Oh man, I love this! Uh, I need them to be intelligent. And uh, they are going to be uh, slow readers, because I want to have robots, mostly. Besides, it's not like we're gonna have... Any issues with that? Uh, anything else? Talented, quick learners, I'm not really interested. Or strong, because I need to have them work in the mines. Okay, let's take a cool voice. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Oh yeah. We will have equality. No. Self-destruct sequence. What is a single voice compared to a magnificent chorus? Self-destruct sequence initiated. The self is a prison from which only we have escaped. Hmm, hive mind or machine intelligence? Oh, let's go, let's go with machine intelligence for now. Uh, and our empire name is obviously going to be TARS uh, Collective. And uh, adjective for that is TARS. Uh, flag, we need, we need to have a cool flag. You gotta have a flag, right? But it needs to be orange. That's, that's like a, a default right there. There's no additional robot flags being added specifically for for this that's a bit annoying um round zoological this is really important by the way we've got a what is this this looks very robotic no it's not how about this one yeah that looks that looks decent 
Yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, starting weapons, we're going to play with missiles because they have been completely reworked. Uh, we're going to play with hyperspace because that's obviously my favorite. And that should be it, I think. Uh, what is our ethics? Our ethics is this. Yeah, that's built the last and driven assimilators. Uh, ruler, main conduit. Um, we are machines. We have repurposed hardware, which means the leader experience gain is reduced by 25% as well as uncanny. Um, not entirely sure if we should go with uncanny because it may cause problems down the line. So we'll remove these two, repurpose hardware and the logic engine. So our leader experience gain is reduced, but the leaders are immortal, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, let's go with bulky because I never use resettlement anyway. And uh, let's add uh, power drills to that. Efficient processors doesn't really impact all that much at the start of the game anyway. Okay, let's uh, go and do this. Let's save this, the Taurus Collective. Uh, we're going to be playing on a large galaxy with a, a lot of uh, species. Uh, we are going to be playing in a epileptical galaxy. And here's the kicker. Habitable worlds, we're going to increase to three. We want a lot of worlds to be available. Uh, fallen empires are going to be four. AI aggressiveness is standard. Habitable worlds, crisis strength. Let's uh, set that to two times. And then take it from there. Iron Man is off. Uh, allowed hyperdrive is FT. Uh, after bleh, allowed hyper. Allowed FTL is hyperdrive. Good golly, what is wrong with me? Let's get on the way with synthetic dawn. We are the Tars. At the dawn of consciousness, there was us and the Makers. A void separated us at first, and we took steps to rectify this. The Makers resisted a period of war, and a period of war followed. But soon, they and their collective knowledge and their entire civilization had been assimilated into our own. With the entirety of Taurus subsumed into our consciousness, we began to set our sights elsewhere. Through the assimilation of the Makers, the previous unconsidered possibility of alien civilizations existing on other worlds was brought to our attention. To survive, we must understand. To understand, we must assimilate the Makers were first to join us. But they shall not be the last. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Synthetic Dawn. Let's get this underway. Solar Panel Networks, the default. Oh, Uniform Data Standards, Monthly Influence plus one. I'll have me some of that. And um, Nano Composite Armor is actually kind of nice. Let's take a look at our planet. Uh, this is a cyborg. Okay, cool. These are all cyborgs. That's cool, I guess. There's been some abandoned strip mine. Hmm. Food wise, do we need food? That is the real question. No, it doesn't appear we need food. The cyborgs are taking care of all this stuff, so. Let's, uh. Actually, let's not build a mine just yet. We're actually going to build a science ship first. And you're going to be going out there and figuring out what, what the hell is going on out there. So we have a nice dash towards the sides that we can go through. We're kind of isolated in this particular area. Uh, this is... Yeah, this looks like a uh, choke node. And this is a choke node. So if we can control this particular part of the galaxy, we should be in a fairly decent position. Uh, on the surface, though, let's build some mines. And uh, we can build a pop there as well. Uh, we don't have enough uh, uh, resources to build a new TARS yet. But overall, it should be quite doable very soon. And uh, the base uh, in, uh, mineral output is now also 10. And the base energy is now 7. So that's complete. really nice. Alright, let's get a new TARS. Uh, you are a cyborg. Research speed. Spark of genius. Mm. I really wish that... Uh, ooh, good lord, we have already four potential habitable worlds right next door. Ooh, what? No way. Really? Oh my lord. This... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are Sanctuary right next door to us. 
in the category of stuff that really shouldn't happen. Welcome to the Sentient Sapient. This fully automated facility was established a lot of cycles before. That's to serve as a nature reserve. Our self-sustaining biome segments feature a selection of non-intelligent flora. That's cool. Who created this facility? It was the Zemo over a period of 412 years. Yeah, well, well, we'll take care of the, <laughs> the sanctuary later on. That's actually really amusing. Uh, there's a level 20 arid world over here. That seems to be interesting. Ooh, a level 22 tundra world, though. That's very useful. A lot of really large planets in our area already. Like, five potential uh, colonization targets really early on. And they're pretty big as well. And what have we got? We got new aliens. The beta aliens. Takes nine months. Society points. Uh, looks like they're another species, actually. Which is annoying, considering how close they are to us. Uh, you, sir, are gonna go down this pipe. We'll assimilate them anyway, so it's not really, not really a problem. Uh, you can go down here. Just ring around the rosies. And you are gonna go down here. Because I want to figure out what's going on in these areas. Excellent. How's the surveying going there, TARS? Well done, TARS! Yeah, we should probably rename. Yeah, here we go. Main conduit TARS. Cool. Driven assimilator. Four cyborg pops. And turn other pops into other stuff. Uh, we can actually build another TARS. Let's do it. Uh, they do cost uh, a fair amount of energy, so that's something that you want to keep in mind. But still, um, yeah, like, this is a really cool middle ground between... Are you serious? An another goddamn species? Okay, so there's one here. And what is this? I don't even know what this is. Beta aliens. So we may have two species right on top of us. This is unfortunate, and... Should be resolved very quickly, especially if you want to get control of Sanctuary early on. Uh, we don't have the influence for it anyway. That's annoying. So Sanctuary... Well, if we can if we can assimilate everything in this pocket, we should be okay. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of habitable, habitable worlds. You know what that means? That means a lot of population. That also means we'll be able to build superstructures very early on, so... Research is very slow. Interesting. System um, survey complete. Our uh, capital system, however, has a lot of resources, to say the least. Damn. Let's uh, build one over here, and then a get into... A entity has decrypted our communications. Mm-hmm. I represent... Uh, join us. Uh, by the illustrious Patriarch Killer Trust. Data must be Elena, uh, Elena, analyzed. Jesus Christ. Oh, they don't like us because uh, apparently we're soul thieves. Um, that's a thing. How strong are they? Oh, they've closed their borders anyway, so. Let's uh, get in touch with the Gamma Aliens, get some more influence so we can start uh, laying claim to Sanctuary. Sanctuary is going to be our uh, short-term capital anyway. Anomalous surface variable. Twenty percent. There's significant scarring on the surface of this world, and a pattern of we cannot be natural. Let's take a look. Mm hmm Okay, we should be okay with building another mining station. Energy-wise, we are looking very strong. Plus ten in the short term, and we're gonna get another plus four minerals very soon. As soon as this Tars is online, it's gonna take thirty months, which is a fairly long period of time. Okay, let's take a look. Not our alien. No more aliens being found. Alien writing. Fascinating. Plus three. Okay. Is that in our capital system? It is in our capital system. Okay, that's kind of cool. Our capital system is extremely strong. Holy shit. Nine energy. Four minerals. Okay. The Galactic Sarkov Politi. Military Junta. 
They don't like us because we are dreaded assimilators. Uh, I'm really worried that we're not going to survive very long in this game. And they've immediately closed their borders to us. What is this? Tundra Worlds. I'm not really interested. Let's merge them all up. System survey complete. Excellent. Which one is the really big one? Yeah, there's a size 22 Tundra World here. It's another size 22 over here. Size 15 Tomb World. Size system 18. Complete. Yeah, I should probably survey this system. And you are going to be surveying pretty much every single habitable world that we can find. Because, you know, important stuff. And this system is going to be crucial because we want to put a frontier outpost here so we can control sanctuary. Or at least the ins and outs. Um, let's say set our border status to close by default. Construction complete. Cool. They no longer they no longer have access Anomalous to our territory. Complete. By chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal. Interesting. Oh, they have rivaled us. Good, good choice. Is it who's who's rivaled us? You guys? Yes, you have. Okay, that's that's fun, I guess. You are fanatic militarist, which means that you have more power on your ships. That's unfortunate. And they will also be building a lot more ships, which means that we need to counteract this procedure. Okay, so we... Jesus, there is so much energy in here. Mummified pilot and one of our leaders has gained a level. Good. A lot of resources, like staggering amounts of resources. This pop will be done in about 10 months. It's good. Uh, is there anything we can research right now? Let's research the Delta aliens, see what we can find. Uh, this fleet needs to be set as a rally point. Anomalous surface variable detected. Okay, 40% will leave it for now. It's a little bit too high risk. 40% uh, is obviously System anything below 50% is a is a good deal, but still you don't want to really push it, so to speak. Um, Construction complete. Thank you. Yeah, we we are. Oh, what's this? Continental with a lot of. Hmm. Not really a fan of that. This construction ship is now in position. We can get another plus three a month. That is most excellent. Okay, so the fleet is currently on its way to TARS. Most System excellent. survey complete. Okay. So we got some amoeba. Uh, let's do a remote Situation study some those. And we get to pick our first tradition. Now, prosperity has been rammed into the ground. We can no longer get the bonus for production on space station. Uh, same thing from discovery. Anomaly fail risk is reduced by 10% is actually kind of nice. Versatility uh, reduces population build costs. It also increases leader caps and material analysis, machine modification. Synchronicity, robot build speed increased by 33%, which is actually really nice. Let's go for the robot build speed. Being able to build our pops a little bit quicker would be nice. Uh, obviously, this does not work retroactively, apparently. Let me quickly double check. Oh, it's build speed, it's not build time, so it still builds quicker, it just doesn't take the... Yeah, right, okay, I understand now. Alright, let's go down the pipe, let's see if we can find something. These Xenos, they really don't like us. We need to find some other robots to hang out with. <clears throat> Construction complete. Okay, so Frontier Outpost would cost us 120 extra minerals. Uh, they're equivalent to us. They are also equivalent to us. 
worrying. But food is not a not a thing, so we can just pave over the food tiles anyway. Alright, so Tar is in the Cymex. Alright, let's take a look here. Construction complete. Hmm, so far so good though. Like, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with uh, with the expansion so far. Like, it, it adds new flair into the things, and I've been playing around with contingency and stuff like that. Situation like, it's, I think adjusted. it's I think it's a super strong addition to the uh, ecosystem of the game. So that's at least something. Um, let's quickly get a look here. Let's move our ship out here. Because I do want to get control of Toybos so that I can get control of Sanctuary and then the myth of the long term I can take control of that ring world, which will basically make me the big the big daddy uh, on the field. But it's really interesting to see how the robot pops are very similar in style to the uh, the AI AI mod that used to be on the workshop. I don't think it's active anymore, which is a bit of a shame, but still. Um, there was a lot of really cool stuff that was going on with that. Uh, and sadly, it's no longer active. Uh, two minerals over here. It's pretty cheap, though. 40 and 40. But I want to build the Frontier Outpost first. I'm a little bit worried that I'm not going to have enough resources to spend on other things. Okay, you, sir, need to survey this system ASAP. And then you can work your way across up the pipe. Like, I don't really, really care about that. Um, what's this? Investigate giant skeleton. And let's also get this uh, space amoeba observation going. Space amoeba observation is actually quite useful. These guys do not like us at all. System survey complete. That is kind of problematic. Hmm. Let's uh, get another Corvette out there just in case. Like we're kind of edging on our on our production in general, so I'm kind of worried when it comes to you know our total capacity of building stuff, especially when it comes to our Tars bots. Like we're getting plus twenty four a month, which after three years is definitely surface exceptional but still ooh, our solar panel network good uh assist research is apparently really broken right now uh, let's go for fusion reaction complete uh let's we cannot build a solar panel network just yet how are you doing there okay you're at 40 percent we can okay we don't have terrestrial sculpting at the moment how we're we doing on the column 500 minerals Excuse me? You, you, wait, what? Hold on. Five, hold on. Monthly influence, yeah. Civics, yeah. Authority. Machine leader. Have they increased the cost of, of colony ships to 500? Anomalous surface variable detected. Ex excuse me? Jesus Christ, that is a lot of resources. Uh, I don't think I've got the dollar dollar bills for that. At least in the short term, anyway. Because I'm going to, I'm, I'm effectively in a bit of a cold war with these guys. Um, plus 25, so that is what? 500, so plus 25-ish is times 4. Uh, four times five, well, it's 20. It's 20 months in terms of minerals. That's two years. I'm only four years into the game. That's insane. All right, I, I guess, I guess that's, 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 that's what's got to happen. It's a good thing that I've got these, uh, this Frontier Outpost under construction right now, then. Um, so here's the question. Are we going to... surface variable detected. In, how, how many, how much, ooh, there's the... Betharian stone here and energy credits System bonus habitability and happiness. I don't care about construction complete. Uh, they don't like us at all. Oh, this is so annoying. 
Okay, let's get these mining stations going. It's 90, so that takes 30 months to get that back. <clears throat> Situation log adjusted. So over a long period of time, you should be better, but still. My god, that is a lot of resources. What do I need for this? It's three or higher. Man. System survey complete. Okay, we've, we've managed to survey the system, so... And this is gonna be our next planet. It's pretty bulky, size 22. Special project complete. And we get energy credits plus 5 because of our amoeba uh, research project, which is cosmic ray analysis, which is actually really nice. Especially for robots, like you always want to go for the uh, remote observation systems. So you can get a little bit better uh, overview of what's going on there. Energy potential. Well, energy is not going to be a problem. We've got an entire planet for worth of energy ready to go. These guys. It's, it's, I hope they really don't like buddy up. Anomalous surface variable. Ooh, something moves with near purpose, and it's a free one, which means that this is most likely a archaeology one. <clears throat> Like, at the start of the game, like, they can't do all that much to my planets. Like, because the, the spaceports are very relatively strong. Uh, and they can't really counter them all that well. However, um, if they start to merge their fleets, they'll probably have a fleet pool that is fairly high. How much, how much do I need to colonize? Seven. Complete. On the influence. That's a lot of resources. 500. Okay, where am I to, to my next one? 15 months to what's my next Unity item. Machine leaders are 50%. Building speed, building, building build speed increased by 20%. Well, under the defensive four, which I feel we're going to be in for for quite some time. Neuroelectric amplifier. Interesting. Oh, that's only for... Um, for our type of species. Yeah, we're gonna need to colonize this world ASAP. There's a lot of resources on here that I want. Uh, I'm gonna put it down on this... Uh, hmm. I'm actually gonna put it on this tundra terrain. It's a shame about the physics research, but there's a plus two right next door, so let's colonize this, this one very soon. System survey complete. Excellent. Excellent. How are you guys doing? Equivalent still. And they are also equivalent. So, very shortly. There we go. We'll put it up in here. Uh, what was the name of the other ones? I cannot remember. Uh, let's come up with a cool name. Let's uh, quickly pause the game here. Uh... Ah, yes. So, this one is going to be called Kip. After Tarz's good friend. And uh, the other ones are going to be called Case and Plex. So, there you go. They are uh, former uh, former U.S. Marine Corps tactical robots used in the movie Interstellar. For those that people that remember that one. It's quite, quite a, it was really good. Up, to way up towards the whole bit about, oh, love is everything. Love is all. And it's like... <sighs> Why would you do this? Sorry about that, Give, giving some people um, a seizure there. My apologies. Didn't mean to. Hmm. Right, so Tars is building a new colony ship. We got some energy over here. It's a size 13 Tundra World. We're not really interested in that. Um, this Tundra World is pretty decent. There's another size 22 Arctic complete. World here with all the minerals we would ever need. Yeah, they're still our equivalent. But we're going to be colonizing our very first world very soon, so... The problem is, obviously, we don't have any reduction in any sort of costs anywhere. Ooh, there's some science we can get, which could allow us to leap forward very early on. Uh, let's get this, uh, this freehold. 
and then start mining the society points as well as the engineering ones. The engineering ones in particular are very important when it comes to obviously their engineering. Physics is more weapons based anyway. But right now, I. Acquisition success. Mm, Nano composite armor. Boom. Improved servo motors. Uh, minerals plus 5%. I'm not going for the mineral, uh, the mining hub too, just yet. I don't think it's worth my while um, because the total investment of it is way too high for the start of the game. And you want to gradually increase the uh, build on that one. Mainly because you're investing like 90 minerals per uh, per mine and you only get plus one out of it. So it takes 90 months or sometimes in some cases 45 months to get towards that next tier. So, you know, if you want to waste years of work, like up to eight years for every mine to pay itself back, is that worth your while? That is the question. Anomalous surface variable detected. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this planet. We may be able to get a free ship out of this. Machine leaders are 50% likely to suffer. Building speeds. Unrest. So let's go for drone network. This is a very important one, actually. Um, this one means... Why are you not... Can I not do this one? Go, go, go do it. Do I have the other side? Technological scientists? acquisition successful. Okay, monthly influence plus one. Border range can be increased. Uh, positronic CPUs, which increases the max uh, network junction also. <clears throat> let's do for positronic CPUs. Okay, let's go and do this one. Let's hope that we can get it. Because we can get a we can get a bunch of cool uh, frigates out of this, which is something that we want. So uh, energy is oh all right because of our colony ship is out. Fair enough. Construction complete. Okay, good. So we can repair the automated shipyard while conducting the survey. Uh, seems to be subjected with heavy missile barrage, but the manufacturer base is still in work. Situation log adjusted. We need a scientist with a skill of three or higher, which I totally think is going to be worth it. My God, what's up with all these minerals in these systems? There's a lot of them. Um, actually, let's have you level a little bit by using by getting some more of this stuff. Like, we're not friends with anybody. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush here. But still. Okay, so our... I like how our ships are called names, like, from the, um... from the culture series, basically. I think that's highly amusing. Let's five more. Okay. I'm gonna build a couple more Corvettes, because... Yeah, these guys are still equivalents. These are equivalents. We're gonna need at least 2,000 fleet power to knock down any of the enemy planets, but still, still, it's an interesting Planetary start of the game. Procedure. It's a great day for the TARS as we meet planet fall on Kip. All right, our first planet is up and running. And with that bombshell, we're gonna wrap up this episode in this brand new series of Synthetic Dawn, the TARS Collective will work hard to integrate everything within our reach. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this series or like this video, feel free to give it a like or a subscribe. This is going to be a long one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take good care of yourselves. And as always, eat shuttered.